Przejdziemy dzisiaj czwarty epizod trzeciego sezonu Sama i Maxa. I can't believe you fired Sal. Of course I did, you conniving banshee. I can't have my food prepared by a ten-stone cockroach. Uh. We're closed. closed. You better tell them that. Widzę, że Telltale chciał już wcześniej stworzyć The Walking Dead. Może właśnie ta scena zapoczątkowała The Walking Dead od Telltale? Who knows what horrible truths lurk behind the tinted windows of our neighbors' souls? Our intrepid heroes certainly don't. Zrobili sobie taką scenę i pomyśleli, a walniemy, nie wiem, cztery sezony gry o zombiakach. Co wy na to? Since their stirring defeat of the mad pharaoh Simon Mack, but soon. You and the freelance police will be forced to throw open the creaking shutters and clumsily draw back the moldy curtains to reveal the awful secrets that lie beyond the alley of the dolls. A ty, Burian, grałeś ostatnio w coś ciekawego? Poza samym i Maxem, oczywiście. So, after I put Max's brain back in his body, we were suddenly beset by scads of brain-dead Samuel Acra. I prefer doggle-gangers! We thought all they wanted was that spooky toy box, but after they yanked it away, they turned their attention on us. <laughs> Actually, I think they were mostly interested in me. No? No? We ran for the DeSoto, but it had been surrounded by a gang of Mies. So naturally you came here. Eh, better to stock up on canned foods and ammo for the upcoming zombie Sam Armageddon. I don't think they're zombies, Max. Zombies, clones, robots, who cares? Just as long as I get the shakes! No mówi normalnie The Walking Dead. Oh, good. It's the harbinger of doom. I'm sorry I broke your boyfriend. Boyfriend? What boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. You know, General Skunk Ape. You two seem to be getting along pretty well before Max and I kicked him into the penal zone. Skunk Cape? He's not my boyfriend. I mean, just look at him. What do you think the deal is with all these dangerously handsome Samuel Acra? Doggle-gangers. Hmm, I'd guess clones. Really? Or maybe parallel universe commandos, or pastry golems, or maybe I don't really care since it's not really my job to figure this kind of thing out. I see that you and Grandpa Stinky have reached the plate-throwing phase of your relationship. Oh, that? That was nothing. Grandpa just fired my cell, uh, chef, without consulting me first. I was slightly annoyed. Wouldn't be. 
But you know what they say, there's nothing like being attacked by an army of portly abominations to give you a sense of perspective. Do people really say that? Why did Grandpa fire Sal anyway? That's a private matter between me and Grandpa, for the moment. I got a wacky idea. Why don't you help us fight off the Sams? Your personality alone could probably take out a dozen of them in one blow. For your information, I'm trying to text the authorities for some help. Right. Any luck texting the authorities? None yet, but I'll be sure to let you know if I make a breakthrough. You do that. Well, I can see you're busy. I'll just get back to saving our lives. Hey, good luck with that. Janky. Individually wrapped balls of peanut butter? Aye. Ever since Mrs. Dulagi went up like a pufferfish, my namby-pamby malpractice attorneys have forced me to dole out my peanut butter in strictly controlled portions. I didn't even know diners could have malpractice attorneys. Hey, Donkey Wrong, want to pitch in and help us repel the hordes? <laughs> what happened to General Skunkape? Sam happened! According to Max, I beat the bananas out of him in an alternate reality, which has left him a humiliated husk of a man, or ape. Don't hurt me. Of course, being chased by hundreds of half-dressed versions of the new alpha male in town oh, yeah, not cool. either. This probably isn't the best time to make some toast. But what the heck? Yikes! Whoa! Guess I won't be making any toast for a while. I remember when I was a toaster. To były czasy. Hey, good idea. Maybe we can turn this horrific siege into some sort of half-assed rhythm-based minigame. Byłoby super. Half-naked, portly dog-like creatures are running amok. Details at this time remain sketchy, but we have numerous reports that the zoptic canines are breaking into people's houses and stealing their children's toys. Well, that'll put some kids in therapy, right, Chet? No! Whoa, he's off, big fella. I'm pretty upset about the Zaptic crack, too, but that's no reason to go ape. Smooth, Sam. Oh, yeah, cool. Infernal City stripped me of my power and my dignity, but I'll be a Polarian baboots before I let them have the last of my toys! Hey, the monkey's gonna do a card trick! I don't think so, Max. Those look like the mind-reading cards we saw in that chilling vision of the future that never happened. Oh, yeah! Jimmy! Give them to you? Hardly. With these cards, I will escape this gorilla-forsaken rock, blast it from orbit, and then move on toys. to conquer the rest of the entire galaxy! Toys! Toys! No. Toys! No! no. Wow, that was horrible. Maybe we should have done something. Ah, he'll be okay. Now let's start reading some minds so we can get out of this mess. Dobra, mam karty. It's the button that opens the secret tunnel into the sewers. Less talky, more pressy, Sam. I've just about run out of amusing ways to shoot you in the face. Open hickory. Hey, Stinkies! What happened to your secret tunnel? Secret tunnel? I have no idea what you're talking about. Mmm, fudgy freeze. The greatest combination of ice cream fudge and carob balls this side of the Mississippi. Must resist fudge. Nom, 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 nom. Sam? Sorry, Max. You know how I get whenever I get a fudgy freeze in my hand. No, it's us, them przejściem. Stinky? What? What happened to the secret tunnel? The secret tunnel? 
You know, the one under that table over there. As usual, I have no idea what you're talking about. Seriously, how come your secret tunnel doesn't work anymore? Seriously, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I can see you're busy. I'll just get... Hey. Rip a stinky? Do you mind? You're spoiling my aim. We couldn't help but notice that girl Stinky stole Okay, you should look at him, Pogadam. What did she think I was going to do when I discovered that she'd hired a giant cockroach to run my beautiful kitchen? Well, your tolerance for cockroaches is well known, so I'm sure she probably thought tiny cockroaches as customers, not six and a half foot tall monstrosities, lumbering about my kitchen, dipping their mandibles in the mayonnaise, and spreading their disease on my crudités. Crudités? Where? And what are those? Mark my words, Ken or no Ken, that woman's up to no good. Need any help? Nah, I've been dreaming about this day for years. Oh, right in the moose. What do you think this unprecedented wave of me is all about? Cheers! I haven't had this much fun in years! What happened to your secret tunnel? Secret tunnel? You know, the one under that table over there. If I had a secret tunnel, don't you think I would have used it by now? Good point. You sure you don't know anything about a secret tunnel? Because I could swear you were around when we found it a couple of days ago. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll just get back to finding a way out of this mess. Take your time. I'm... When Wilfred and Brimley aren't looking, I'll escape through my backup tunnel. A backup tunnel? Ingenious. Really? I was gonna go with paranoid or maybe silly. When Wilfred and Brimley aren't looking, I'll... Can you read my mind? Do you know all the things I'm thinking of? This is over. My so-called granddaughter and I are going to have a wee talk. Anyone got some darts? I'm gonna try something. Stinky? What? Okay, Stinky, where's your backup secret tunnel? What? You heard me. The backup tunnel. I don't know anything about a backup tunnel. Come on, Stinky. Tell us where your backup tunnel is before Max runs out of bullets. I never run out of bullets! I told you I don't know anything about a tunnel. Why do you keep looking over there? Looking over where? Well, I can see you're busy. I'll just get back to saving our lives. Hey, good luck with that. Let's see if we can cheer up this terrifying attack with a random selection from Stinky's hot wax dispenser. You are aware that there's no actual records, CDs, or wax cylinders in there, right? I don't know how Blah Blah and Buzz Buzz found out about my backup tunnel, but they'll never figure out that setting the toaster to incinerate will open it. Oh yeah, cool. Those cards have peeled open Stinky's mind like a snarky, lazy onion. <laughs> I don't think I'll be using that toaster until I get rid of some of those sands. Couldn't you just give him a chew toy or something? Very funny, Lint Brain. I'm not usually this grabby. Ew, it's got peanut butter dog mouth. I hate it when I do that.
I hope you guys love these as much as I do. Big! Have you been tuned to my diner? I have no idea what you're talking about. I've had just about all I can stand, you indolent waste of DNA! Say, you two wouldn't mind holding the fort while we go check out Stinky Secret Passage, would you? Indolent? Who do you think keeps this diner afloat, old man? Great, thanks! I sure hope the Stinkies are able to work out their issues. Not me! Watching them argue is like dinner theater, only without the... Sweet mother of Watson and Crick gallivanting with Rosalind Franklin on a spiral staircase. Dobrze powiedziane. Max? Yeah? I think we found the source of the Samuel Acra. Doggle-gangers. Whatever. Clone complete. What the heck is Girl Stinky doing down here? Max, look. Bosco Tech Clone Pod. This clone pod was manufactured by Mama Bosco. He probably should have guessed by the hot pants they're wearing. Mama sure does love a nicely turned Sam game. Oh, yay. If Mama Bosco's the one controlling these clones, she's got a lot of explaining to do. Property of Hoover Dam. The ghost of J. Edgar Hoover is raising an unholy army of sexually provocative Sam clones! Good theory. Wrong Hoover. Clone cooker DNA input receptacle. Whoa! Yikes! Looks like our mysterious clone master doesn't want anyone messing with their cloning recipe. <laughs> cloning facility status. Huh. You'd think a multi-bazillion dollar facility like this could afford something a little snazzier than a chintzy scrolly sign. In the unlikely event of a firestorm, the clone chamber's salad bar will remain open. Check it out, Max. Cart tracks. Maybe there's gold at the end of this tunnel. Just Adrian. Deposits of Camp Gedium. You're a strange little imp, Max. No szkoda, ale już się przyzwyczaiłem do oryginalnych głosów. We've been walking for nearly a decameter. I love your wacky made-up units of measurement, Max. I wait a minute. There's a light up ahead. Ask 
Tiger Tech? Shh. Something weird is going on. Weird by our standards or everyone else's? Mr. Molman, please concentrate. Without your assistance, we'll never be able to contact Dr. Mama Bosco. No, we won't. You don't know what you're doing. Tak, grałem. Gram po kolei. Father, will you please tell this booze-soaked gumshoe to get out of our diner? Just answer the man's questions, so I can get on with my pathetic excuse. Słyszałem o tym, ale grałem w oryginał. Jakoś ta oryginalna grafika bardziej mi się podoba, taka kanciasta, niewygładzona. Hey, Flint, what's shaking? Hey, boys, just putting the finishing touches on this whole thing. Ale mam remastery pierwszego i drugiego sezonu na Switcha w pudełku. But Grandpa Stinky's gonna stop paying me if I don't wrap this case up tonight, so I'm kind of winging it here. I've had you on retainer for months, and you didn't even know she'd installed not one but two secret tunnels under my diner. Mind if we kibitz in your interrogation? Be my guest, boys. I'm hitting a brick wall with Miss Motormouth here. See? Now where were we? Oh yeah, who's this Mr. S Mug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? Stinky's words dug into my heart like a hot shovel through a tub of warm butter sprinkled with bacon bits and. Um, Stinky didn't say anything, Sam. See what I'm working with here? Maybe she doesn't know how these hard-boiled interrogations are supposed to work. I think you're right, Max. Let's show her how it's done. I'll be Flint, and you'll be Stinky. Fine, but if I get typecast, you're getting a nasty call from my agent. All right, sister. What's the deal with all your secret tunnels? Secret tunnels? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Stinky was lying. What else could she do? We all have our own secret cloning facilities at the end of our secret tunnels. The ones we don't want anyone to know about. Cloning facility? What are you talking about? No, 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 no. That's his line. Come on, Stinky. Don't pretend you don't know anything about the massive Sam cooking machines we found at the end of your secret tunnel. Get out of my way! Not so fast, Dollface. You're not going anywhere until you answer some questions. Fine. Fire away. Anything to get me out of this madhouse. Okay then. From the top. Who's this Mr. S Mug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? Mr. S is Sam. We were planning Grandpa Stinky's surprise birthday party. You why? You heard me. Mr. S is Sam. The two of us were planning Grandpa Stinky's surprise birthday party. Uh, you lousy liar! My birthday isn't for another five months. That's why it was going to be such a surprise. Is this true, Sam? Uh, it it sure is. She'd already ordered your favorite cake. I did. Oh, I mean that's right. I did. A cake, eh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you and Sam can cop up my favorite cake, I'll send Mr. Paper home. Until then, you're not going anywhere, granddaughter. I can't believe you and Stinky were planning a party and you didn't ask me. Oh yeah, cool. I love licking envelopes and cooking up embarrassing party games. Don't be a dolt, Max. This whole party thing is just another brick in Stinky's mountain of lies. But if we cover for her, maybe Flint will let her go, and she can lead us to her mysterious Mr. S and the mastermind behind these rakishly handsome Sam clones. Sounds convoluted and absurd. I like it. All we have to do now is find Grandpa Stinky's favorite cake. No, niestety, nie mam lalki. A w ogóle jak tutaj trafiłeś, Adrian? Hey Flint. I can't grab now, Sam. I gotta keep my peepers on Miss Congeniality here in case she tries to make another break for it.
A party? <laughs> a likely story. Still, it'd be nice to get a slice of upside down Uzbekian blood cake surprise. W sensie, tutaj miałem iść Burian. I wonder what's down this tunnel. There's only five or six ways to find out. Well, let's take the one that doesn't involve explosives or time travel. Spoil sport. A w inne gry od Telltale też grałeś? Here we are, back in the Museum of Mostly Natural History. And look, Paperweight's office. Maybe he can tell us what's going on with all these Sams. Hmm, a trash can. My psychic clue sense is tingling. You know I can't stand looking at you when you dig through garbage. No time to indulge your delicate sensibilities, Sam. Look! What is it? Hey, 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 I just find the clues. And besides, I seem to have temporarily lost my ability to read. A disturbing side effect of your psychic abilities? Nah, I just can't be bothered. It's a standard security panel tricked out with hieroglyphics instead of numbers. I wonder what the key code is. Aha! Ja właśnie robię taki maraton gier od Telltale i gram po kolei. Przeszedłem obie części Bona, teraz kończę trzeci sezon sama i Maxa. Po samie i Maxie będzie Strongbat, z tego co pamiętam. A przeczytałem wszystkie komiksy z Bonem. Yeah, but at least there aren't a bicycle of Eldritch tentacles guarding it anymore. I don't think bicycle is the group word for tentacles, Max. Just a minor. Wait, you fool! Oh, sorry. Oh, it's you. We've got some questions. Doctor Norrington and I could not give three rotten figs for your questions. We've got important work to do. Good day. I said good day, sir. Well, I never. Let's see. Foot, snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird, done. We probably should have guessed that one. Still remember the code? I'll have you know I've got a mind like a steel tramp. Trap. Really? Huh. A steel tramp would be a lot more fun in a bum fight. Ah. Don't look at me! Oh, come on, you're not that. Właśnie wiem, Adrian. Szukałem komiksu sami Max i najtańszy jaki znalazłem z dostawą już doliczoną to z 600 zł wychodziło. Most humans are driven incurably insane by the mere glimpse of my unspeakable visage. Yeah, well, no offense, but we get more than just the visage of the mysterious doctor. I am known by the name. 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 What do you have to say about all those creepy tentacles we found in the cloning chamber? Tentacles? Yeah, like the ones your boy Paperweight summoned in the museum last night. Cthulhu's wattle! Oh, I'm using that. Only one such as myself can summon the cilia of torment. 
Whoever's controlling your clones must be awash in the forces of the Dark Dimension. Did you really just say awash? The only thing that can properly vanquish matter from the Dark Dimension is... The Chthonic Destroyer! What's the Chthonic Destroyer? Is it pointy? The Chthonic Destroyer is the ultimate psychic toy. A weapon so terrible that it was once used to drive the Elder Gods themselves back to their home in the Dark Dimension. Ah, oh, look. That Mole Man is smiting an army. Mind if we hold on to this? Sam's got a thing for illuminated manuscripts. If it will help you find the Chthonic Destroyer... Yes, of course. Thanks. I'll try to keep Max from drawing dirty pictures in the margins. Can the Destroyer be used against those tentacles? The Destroyer is proof against anything from the Dark Dimension. Me, the tentacles, the toy box... Sam, we gotta get one of these things! You'll have to find the hidden giggling realm of skittering ingestion if you wish to find the Destroyer. Do you know anything about all these handsome brutes that are stealing toys throughout the city? The clones are meaningless. And chubby! Hey! But if they are truly stealing toys, then their master may be attempting to gather a complete collection of the toys of power. Collect all 1,024! Impress your friends! and destroy the entirety of existence as we know it. You've already borne witness to the damage that can be wrought when the Devil's Toy Box is mostly full. If the box is completely engorged, its power will tear down the walls of reality itself. So, aside from tearing apart reality, anything else you think we should know about the Plague of Me? Only that they should seriously consider a gym membership. You and Paperweight seem to know a lot about that Devil's Toy Box that everybody keeps stealing. The Devil's Toy Box. Ha! You should be so lucky. What are you talking about? The Toy Box is of a power far greater than that of your primitive gods and devils. It is the property of my grandson, Junior. Junior? Yes, Junior. The youngest and most horrible of the Elder Gods. His birthing whale shattered the supercontinent of Pangaea. His first steps sunk the proto-civilizations of Subarctica. Junior? In an effort to stop my rampaging grandchild from destroying the Omniverse, I brought many of my precious childhood keepsakes over from the Dark Dimension to keep Junior distracted and entertained, as well as a box to contain their frightening power. Junior? Unfortunately, when the Elder Gods were banished to the Dark Dimension, Junior's toy box was lost during the move, and in the millennia since, he just will not stop whining about it! Junior?! It's a lot scarier if you've got the requisite complement of larynxes to pronounce it correctly. So why have the one and a half of you been trying to get your hands on the toy box all these years? To destroy it! But why? It's got all those cool toys that make my brain tingle and my ears all fuzzy. The toys of power were never meant for mortal hands. For the sake of all that exists, they must be returned to the toy box and annihilated. You're not gonna take my toys, are you? Not yet. Your chaotic mastery of the toys of power may yet prove useful in defeating the master of these blasphemous portly canines. So how did gigantic behemoth of an elder god like you get stuck in panty waist waste anyway? Paperweight! Silence! Several decades ago, Monsieur Paperweight foolishly attempted to summon me to this plane of existence. Um, yeah, we, uh, may have heard something about that. Paperweight's infantile conjurings were doomed to failure, but the uncanny power of your grandsire's brain somehow managed to extrude an infinitesimally tiny fraction of my essence into this dimension. It became fused with Paperweight's unsettlingly hairless and ladylike torso. We've spent the better part of a century trying to retrieve the toy box and send the great Yogg-Sagoth home. And we would have succeeded last night if you hadn't lost your temper over that slobbering space ape. Sorry about that. Nie przeszedłem nigdy. Dawno temu tylko pierwsze dwa epizody skończyłem, a potem jakoś porzuciłem tę grę. I didn't see Sal out there. 
Ah, yes, poor Sal. He resigned after the incident with General Skunkape's men. Any idea where he is now? I'm sure he left a forwarding number in his resignation letter, but I'm afraid I've lost track of it. I have a lot on my table right now. Sure you don't know where Sal is? No, but you're welcome to have a look around. Hold the phone. Your Yog sagoth the world-shattering Elder God? You look like something my non-existent cat coughed up. Curb your tongue, rabbit! No, no, paperweight. The naked one is right. This debased form is a pathetic shadow of my former glory. Long before the dawn of Gram po kolei, ale z seriami. Czyli najpierw cały sami Max, nawet jeżeli wcześniej pomiędzy sezonami wyszło Tales of Monkey Island. And also your succulent hairy flesh. Ew. For untold eons we lapped at the perpetual buffet of your horror and worship until powerful forces rallied to drive us back to the dark dimension. Forces? Primitive hybrids somehow impervious to our powers. You know them as mole men. Get out of here! Yes, that's exactly what they ordered us to do. You know, it's a lot harder to take you prehistoric elder gods seriously, now that I know you were banished by a bunch of mole men. Scoff if you must, but the mole people were much more powerful before they were genetically marginalized by the cruel twists of evolution. Just like Uncle Billy. So, should I call you Yog Sagoth or Norrington? Call me Dr. Norrington. When uttered by your mortal tongues, my true name sounds disturbingly like our term for number two. You should hear him say nuclear. Stay put. We'll probably have more questions later. Your kind always does. Whee! Hey, Yagi, what's this map all about anyway? Paperweight and I have been attempting to locate spots where the membranes between our worlds are the weakest, so that I can be sent home with as little fuss as possible. That's awfully polite for an elder god who savors the taste of human misery. Edge has mellowed me. It's a letter from our old pal Sal, resigning from his job at the museum. Should a six-foot-tall cockroach really be putting himself out on the job market in this economy? Maybe we should ask him. He left a forwarding number. Sweet! Whee! Fudgy freezes. Fudgy freezes. Their cell. And a bunch of doggleganger's. <laughs> Both those Sam show more respect for our car than we do. Well, no, yes, Lalka Adrian. It's our old friend, Charlie Hotep. Get it away! Get it away! Come on, Max. He'll give you cool ventriloquism powers, just like your great-grandpa Maximus had in olden times. Fine. I'll do it for the powers. But for the record, I want to make it clear that I find Charlie Hotep, like all ventriloquist dummies, completely creepy and disgusting. So are you. But you don't see me getting skittish about it. Let's run. Toys. 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 Well, that was a harrowing chase down the clown-infested streets of the city. And the clowns were pretty bad, too. At least we finally lost them. Hey, 
Hey, doggle-gangers! It's me, Max! I'm in this warehouse with all sorts of juicy psychic toys. 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 Dobra, są zajęci. Sal. Sam and Max, what brings you guys down to the warehouse district? All the usual mystery, intrigue, the roar of the grease paint, the smell of the crowd. Hey, Sal, you're a pretty mean chef, right? I know my way around a lemon zester, yeah. What about it? We really need someone to bake a birthday cake, pronto. Sure, I could probably take a break and whip one up. What kind of cake you guys looking for? A new Becky and upside down blood cake surprise? Ooh, that's gonna be a tall order, Sam. Don't you know how to make it? Oh, I know how to make it all right. Any confectioner worth his icing sack knows how to make that bad boy. It's just that the ingredients are really hard to come by. Don't worry about that. Sam and I live to hunt down obscure ingredients or similarly named alternatives. It's not just the ingredients, though. It literally takes a month to bake an Uzbeki and upside down blood cake surprise. If you want it tonight, you're just SOL. Sorry. Well, can you at least tell us what it looks like in case we run into it in a dark alley someplace? I could do better than that. I'll draw you a picture. Pig! Voila! Impressive! Well, I minored in chalk drawing at the Bilderberg Academy for the Culinary and Visual Arts. So you gave up your cushy job at the museum for this? You bet. That museum gig was getting dangerous. What with all the fires, the slimy tentacles, and the gorilla pummelings. I'm just not cut out for a life of excitement like that. What exactly are you doing out here anyway? Oh, I've got a great job stacking crates. Doesn't pay much, but it's way less violent. At least it was until those guys came along. How are you coping with all these sand clothes? Is that what they are? Thought they might be some of your skinnier, less inhibited cousins from over in the village. So my clones haven't been hassling you? A little, but I don't seem to have whatever it is they're looking for. What's in those crates? Beats me. As long as there's nothing in these babies that keep me from stacking them, I could give a June bug's behind about what's in them, you know? Stack on, good buddy. You know it, Sam. I really like Sal, Sam. It'd be a shame if he got sucked into the undertow of the mayhem and destruction that follows us around like an awestruck teenager. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Looks like my clones have already picked this pile of junk clean. Hey, it's our noisy old friend Bluster Blaster. More like a barely tolerated acquaintance. You look like chum, old chum. Stop that! What are you doing in Vegas? Oh, boy. What happened to you? Yeah, we thought you were in Vegas helping Bosco count cards and pick up showgirls. Maximum failure! Why? Counting cards out loud! Yeah, the dealers tend to notice things like that. Do you think you'll rejoin the cops now that your Vegas adventure is over? That portion of my life is terminated! Need any help? No, thank you! I'll just sit here until my shields regenerate! Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about all these Sam clones running around, would you? Those are real? Yeah. Holy Mother of God! I think that's a no. Do you know what happened to Bosco? Bosco stayed in Vegas to pay off debt to the casino! Cleaning tables? Mail stripper! Ew. Interesting. Left letter to give to Mama. Dear Mama, guess what? I met a girl, so it looks like I'll be staying in Vegas a little bit longer than originally planned. Please take care of the store while I'm away. Love, Bosco. P.S. Could you wire me about twenty thousand dollars? Worst Bosco impression ever. Oh yeah, cool. Mind if we deliver this to Mama Bosco? Take it! I never want anything to do with Bosco ever again! See ya, Bluster. I have become death! Ooh, 
this'll be as easy as taking cake from a baby. I think that's candy. Corpulent dogmen swarm city. Corpulence? The nerve! I know. Doughy would have allowed them to use a larger typeface and been alliterative to boot. Zobaczmy tego isterega. Max, no. Sorry. No i tyle. Birthday, Grandpa Stinky. Is that one upside down Uzbekian blood cake surprise? The blood looks right, but let's see if it's got the surprise. Uh, an Uzbekian flensing knife! The secret ingredient the Mongols used in all their cakes! Now do you believe me? The tasty cake. Oh, yeah, cool. Beautiful night. You two really were fun in my birthday party, weren't you? Ooh, I've got to go try this puppy out on some doggies. All right, you furry trespassers. Make way for daddy. There's only one thing I don't understand. Why does Sam call you my queen in his letter? Well, because Sam and I have been carrying on a torrid love affair for years. Isn't that right, hon? Oh, yeah, cool. Uh... Meet me at the place. No, the other place. I don't know what kind of game you're playing here, Sam. But now that I've seen you and Stinky smooching, all I really want to do is climb into a bottle and wipe out a few brain cells. Oh, Sam, that whole stinky kissing thing kind of made me wish for the sweet release of death, too. I know, little buddy, but it'll be worth it if we can track Stinky to the real Mr. S who's controlling all these Sam clones. Do you still remember Stinky's cell phone number? Do I? It spells out my second favorite bodily excretion. Mr. S. Stinky, my queen. I would have gotten here sooner, but the old fool and his Seamus wouldn't let me leave. We've got to get rid of them once and for all. Do we have to? Killing seems so... deadly. Trust me, sweetie. It's the only way to get everything we want. Oh, baby. Okay, that's quite enough of that. It's Droopy and Stitch. Sam and Max. What are you doing down here? We were about to ask you the same question. We were? I was gonna ask about biological compatibility issues. All right, fine. There's no point in denying it any longer. This is where Sal and I meet to revel in our forbidden love. Yeah, the forbidden love thing. Not where we meet to discuss getting rid of our evil grandpa's dick. Ah! Right, just the forbidden love. Really? Then how do you explain that? Whoa. Where'd those come from? 
Yes, master. Sam, what just happened? Well, on the upside, it looks like neither Stinky nor her chitinous boyfriend are the master of these Samalikes. On the downside, it appears that our icky and potentially murderous lover birds are under the psychic thrall of our mysterious fiend. Man, I wouldn't want to be the master when Stinky snaps out of it. She straight up hates thralls. Harry, you're alive. Don't sound so disappointed. Ah, oh, don't be that way, Harry. You cheated me out of millions of dollars and trapped me in a killer sauna. How should I be? Sadder but wiser? What do you know about these scary toy-stealing Sams? Nothing! You sure you want to stick with that answer? Yeah, isn't that your tunnel that connects directly to the big old cloning facility? That old thing? I haven't been down there in months. After Mama Bosco started using it to store crate loads of high-tech equipment, it kind of lost its rustic charm. Think he's telling the truth? Probably. Harry doesn't have the brains, brawn, or all-around competence to pull off a scheme like this. <clears throat> you know, I am standing right here. What sorts of high-tech equipment was Mama Bosco storing in your hole? How should I know? She never tells me anything. How'd you get out of Skunk Ape ship? I'm glad you asked. My incredible adventure began when I discovered a small crack in the back of my cell. Uh, second thought, never mind. What's with the seance? Super Dense over there wants to summon Dr. Bosco back to the lab for questioning, but he doesn't know what he's doing. How so? It's so obvious that he can't make contact with the spirit realms. I mean, he can't even get in touch with my recently deceased relatives. Why don't you tell us about those recently departed relatives? Sorry, Sam. The memories too fresh. Fair enough. What happened to Mama Bosco? I don't know. When I returned to the lab after my harrowing adventures on Skunkapi's ship, she was acting um, strange. Strange? Yes. She was distracted and wafted about the facility with an agitated nervousness that one would normally associate with a guilty conscience. You got all that from the way she was wafting? Well, that, and she gasped, Oh no, it's all my fault, before she floated out of the building. No one's seen her since. So, you don't know where Mama Bosco is? Not a clue. That's why we're trying to hold a seance, to compel her to return. Hang in there, Harry. Do I have a choice? Stupid Super Bowl can't even contact Uncle Morty, and he's only been dead for a week. Can we move this? Pig! Oh, this is rich. You think that you have the spiritual chops to summon Mama Bosco? Hey, Sam's got more spiritualism in his pinky than the love child of the Dalai Lama and Mother Teresa. Actually, I don't think I have a pinky finger. Oh, yeah, cool. Let's begin, sirs. Ghoulies and imps from a Black Sabbath song. Give us a signal by banging that gong. The spirits have moved on. Sure they have. I knew you couldn't talk to the dead. Better luck next time, sirs. Nie, no, nie o to chodziło. Wracajcie tutaj. Again? You're lucky I got nothing better to do tonight. Yeah, yeah, since your social calendar is usually so packed with nightclubs and supermodels. Very cutting, sir. Shall we begin? Okay, how about this? Harry Moman! What? The spirits wish to speak to you. Oh, do they? And who, pray tell, wants to talk to me? Tak, sprawdziłem to Adrian, ale nie wiem czy o to ci chodziło. Po prostu Max zaśpiewał krótką piosenkę. Your Uncle Morty. Uncle Morty? Is it you? Talk to me, Uncle Morty. Talk to me. Yes, your Uncle Morty. He has something important to say. Hmm. 
Mortimer Moleman. Your nephew is waiting. He needs a friend now since he's no good at dating. Hey! Harry! Uncle Morty? Yes, it's your Uncle Morty! You sound... weird. I got a cold! <gasps> in heaven? Who said I was in heaven? If it's really you, then tell me the secret you kept from me all these years. Um, let me think about it. A, to nie pamiętam takich rzeczy. Hit the road przechodziłem, nie wiem, może 12 lat temu, tak mniej więcej. Morty, Morty, oxen free. Come on, Morty, come on. Tell me where you hid your stamp collection. Morty M. Molman, your entrance is queued. To conquer your stage fright, just picture us nude. Mortimer Molman, your nephew is way. Harry! Uncle Morty? My stamp collection is hidden. Yes? In the attic. Yes? Of the Statue of Liberty! I knew it! It's a miracle! Thank you, Uncle Morty! Thank you, Morty! Oh, yeah, cool. When all of a sudden my spirit started pinballing through all sorts of nightmarish heck dimensions. If your seance hadn't anchored me to this plane of existence, I might never have found my way home. Oh dear, it seems that the boundaries between realities are decaying. I'd best alert my superiors. Hey, I thought I was your superior. Of course you are, sir. And I uh, need to tell my girlfriend in uh, Winnipeg. Way to clear a room, Mama B. Good. Now maybe we can get to the bottom of this mess. Hey, Dr. Mama Bosco. Can we ask you a few questions? Can it wait? I'm very busy trying to figure out where all these Sams came from. It'll only take a minute. Fine. I'm sure Bosco will be okay. Yeah, a Las Vegas wedding will be just the thing to center his restless spirit. I wish that were true, but I just know this will all end in tears. And lawsuits. And shirtless raids by the police. Max and I were taking a closer look at those underground cloning tanks. Yes? And they've got Bosco tech written all over them. That's horrible. Someone must have snuck into my lab and stolen all my cloning equipment. Who do you think broke into your lab to steal all your cloning equipment? Well, whoever wanted an army of Sam clones, obviously. Well, duh, Sam. Got any ideas on how to stop the clones? Um, no. Not really. What are you doing? Same as you two. I'm trying to find out who's behind all these clones. Hey, Dr. Mama, could this dimensional destabilizer be used to, say, visit a spooky suburb of the Dark Dimension to get a horrifyingly powerful weapon? I suppose. Want to give it a whirl? Sure. Now, I haven't had a chance to calibrate the navigational controls, so you'll have to figure them out for yourself. Don't we always? O, jakie zdjęcie. I wonder if I could whip up an army of anti-clones. Nah, that'd just be silly. 
If anyone ever finds out I was hired to build those clone tanks, I'm done for. Mm-mm-mm. Mama B? Yes? Give it up, Mama Bosco. We know someone paid you to build those cloning tanks. Who was it? Stinky? Paperweight? Professor Plum? I... I... I don't know! All I know is, a few months ago, an anonymous donor wired me a bajillion bucks in exchange for a few hundred of my experimental cloning tanks. I knew it was shady, but times are tough for a single dead mother with a money-hemorrhaging research lab. So I took the gig and looked the other way. Another victory for unregulated capitalism! This anonymous donor, anything you can tell us about him? Turn-offs, turn-ons, the last four digits of his social security number? We only spoke over the phone. He had a creepy, high-pitched voice. Sam, you don't think it could be the soda? Don't even think it, little buddy. Anything else you can remember about the mastermind who bought all those clone tanks? Aside from the squeaky voice, no. Oh, and he paid me in cash. Really old cash. Now that we've established that the clones came out of your machines, is there any way we can shut them down? Well, there should be a biometric override built into all of my clone control centers, but... Oh, I hate the sound of your butts. But my handprint is the only one that can activate the override. But without a body, you don't have handprints. Or the right to vote! About that override... Mm-hmm. If we could clone a body for you, could you activate the biometric control? That's... Uh, bug-loving insane? Absolutely brilliant! Of course, it'll have to be a perfect clone with 100% of my DNA. No problem. Um, got any lying around? Only this. As far as I know, this is the only remaining sample of my DNA in the world. And even this is only 99% complete. You'll either have to find some more or get some DNA from one of my family members so I can do a splice job. No problem. Consider yourself cloned. Say, would some of your son's DNA work to fill in the gaps in your DNA sample? Sure. Good luck finding any, though. Say, would some of your son... Sure. Good luck finding... So all we have to do is plunk your DNA sample into your clone cooker and bingo bango, brand new Dr. Mama Bosco body, right? No. First, you have to find some more Bosco DNA to fill in the gaps in the sample. Wish me luck, Max. I'm off to explore the Nether Realms. You should probably rephrase that. Come, bitter conduct. Come, unsavory guide. Thou desperate pilot, now at once run on the dashing rocks thy seasick, weary bark. Here's to my love. O true apothecary, thy drugs are quick. Thus, with a kiss, I die. Oh, yeah, you're cool. Ooh, awkward. Badgers? <laughs> Holy wheezing bellows of Krakatoa. What a ride. You okay? Yeah, but only because I've sealed away most of what I saw into a deep corner of my subconscious. Just like that time you caught me singing in the shower. Let's see. Flash of light, blah, blah, blah. Giggling realm of skittering ingestion. Giggling and beset by visions of insects. Destroyer defeats things from the dark dimension. Leader eaten by a beast.
to skąd mam wiedzieć, jak to poustawiać? Now where I leave that Heisenberg compensator? A skąd wiem, który jest dobrze ustawiony? Let's try this again. Hey, you! <laughs> okay, śmieje się. Badgers! <laughs> Tutaj się nic nie zmieniło. Violently epic, but no beast in that future. Okay, super. Okay, czyli tam to było dobrze. Okay, that. of insects and or arachnids? Flash of light there. You feel like you're gonna be eaten by a beast in the future? <laughs> ah, bugs, roaches. <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> Sam? Ah, oh, great. Sam's been driven insane by an unspeakable horror. Now I've got a Craigslist for a new partner. <laughs> no, no, hey, no, little buddy, really, I'm fine. I just got that medium extra small joke from earlier. Boy, that Super Bowl, he's a hoot and a half. Oh, yeah, and check out this keen knickknack I picked up from the gibbering realm of skittering ingestion. Is that the dark dimensional destroyer that Norrington was yammering about? Only one way to find out. Let's blast the bejeebus out of something from the dark dimension. No i super. Udało się. Now where I leave that Heisenberg compensate Mama B? Yes? Tutaj nic nowego. Wow, they're right. The camera really does add 10 pounds. So those clones have what? Five or six cameras on them? What's the deal with this impenetrable blast door? It's an automatic failsafe measure that activates whenever the city is invaded. It keeps the hordes from getting their hands on any dangerous technology. Can you raise it? We'd really like to face the hordes. No can do, boys. Until those clones are gone, this lab's in shutdown mode. in a video game. DNA sample received. Processing. DNA sample insufficient to commence cloning process. Please insert complementary DNA sample to continue. Grałeś we wszystkie małpie wyspy? Come on, come on! Patience, Max. The human genome is an insanely complicated strand of proteins containing nearly a gigabyte of raw data. Even the most sophisticated computers in the world would take weeks. Clone complete. You did it! Yeah. Clear a path, boys. Mama Bosco's about to make a long overdue return to the land of the living. Ja tylko chwilę grałem w te starsze małpie wyspy. A w najnowszą część w ogóle. Alright, fellas, open her up. Well, what do you think? Considering how much of your son's DNA is in there, I'd say you got off easy. Yeah, you could have oh, yeah, a beard or a beer gut or a head full of wacky conspiracy theories. So, Mama B, 
Can't talk now, guys. I'm trying to figure out a way to get up to the control center. It's the only way we'll be able to stop the clones. I'd bet my collection of disturbing Japanese neckties that that's the clone control console Mama Bosco told us about. Hey, Max, think we can hit that coffee cup from down here? Only if our arms get really big. With bullets, Chowderhead. Oh, that's easy. Or maybe not. That glass is nigh indestructible. What does nigh mean, Sam? It means I read too many comic books. That platform looks like a target-rich environment. Now, what should I shoot first? Why'd you do that? Sometimes you just gotta shoot out a few lights. Dead light bulb detected in clone control spotlight. Please alert maintenance engineer. Show off. Now, Max, just because the good Lord didn't bless you with six arms and vice-like claws... Not yet, anyway. Czyli jednak kolejność miała znaczenie. Hey, Max, watch this. Nice shot. Thanks. It turns out the secret is aiming. Aiming. Hmm. Never heard of it. Is it a lost secret of the ancient Orient? Malfunction detected in clone control console unit. Please send technician. the most work I've seen Stinky do in years. Yeah, she must be enthralled. Hey, Mama B. Want to be disassembled at the quantum level, then reassembled about 40 meters to the left? You know it, baby! it out yet? Wow, for a mastermind, you sure are clueless. Oh, it matters not. Neither you nor your unwitting pawn of a scientist will be able to stop the master from achieving his dread goals. <laughs> What's her problem? We're pretty sure she's enthralled, but with Stinky, it's hard to tell. Mama Bosco, would you mind activating your override so we can take control of these clones? My pleasure. defeat the master Sam we've got company you see <laughs> your cause is lost the master will take your toys and sorry I haven't been able to cold cock anyone for a long time and she was really getting on my nerves after the mind-numbing terror is over you gotta teach me that move and me but first let's deal with these clones
Go to the toy box. That seems to have gotten their attention. I guess it's time to play follow the clones. You guys go on ahead and give that master a knee to the groin for me. Getting dog hair all up in my cloning tanks. Hmm. Once this case is over, we should really look into fixing the DeSoto. Hey, look, Sam! All your doggle-gangers are heading into that warehouse, and my ears are doing that weird sparky thing! The toy box must be in there. We'd better sneak in and grab it before the Master's plan comes to fruition. You know, I can't remember the last time one of my plans came to fruition. It's cute when you pretend you know what words mean, Max. Sam? Stand back, Sam! I'll send those doggle-gangers right into the harbor! I don't think so. Who said that? Hello, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah, <you're> cool. <laughs> what was that? Unless I miss my guess, the mysterious master is none other than your little dark dimensional puppet. I knew it was evil. Well, thankfully, like all evil dummies, Charlie's pretty much helpless without a host body. Am I, Sam? Am I? Summer! Cesarum! Kill it with fire, Max! On it! Darn. Yank the cord! Yank the cord! Oh, Sam! Oh, I just had the most ridiculous dream! Stinky was making out with a giant cockroach. Then an evil ventriloquist dummy knocked us out and... Hello, boys and girls! Welcome to the Charlie Hotep Show! Oh, that's way more naked Sam flesh than I'm comfortable with. We got a great show for you tonight, ladies and germs. For our first act, our lovely and talented army of doggle gangers will sing and dance their way into your souls with their dimension shattering rendition of that oldie but goodie, mm -hmm. And for our second act, well, there won't really be a second act for most of you, since you'll be too busy screaming and gouging your eyes out after your pathetic reality is subsumed by the glories of the dark dimension. You won't want to miss our spectacular finale when the great and terrible Junior makes his long-awaited return. Lovingly slips me onto one of his tentacles of anguish and plays with me. Not if my as yet unexplained psychic powers have anything to... Hey, where'd my toys go? Looking for these? Let's have a big Dark Dimension round of applause for Sam and Max, without whom tonight's apocalyptic conjuring wouldn't be possible. I feel so violated. And now, on with the show! Hang on, Sam, I'm coming to get you! Oh. Hang on, Sam, I'm coming to get you! Try not to end the world or anything! Ojejku, co się tutaj dzieje? standing rule against dating anyone who can use me to dig boogers out of their nose. What's that? Is he can't move? Of course you can't, you big dummy! You're my slave, my pawn, my... Oh, what's the word? Puppet! Ah, very ironic. Ain't that sweet? You're still struggling! Oh, 
Ain't that sweet? You're still struggling. Kurczę, nic nie mogę zrobić. Do you want to see my amazing talking to a stupid mutt while playing the piano and ushering in the end of the world trick? Yes. Alrighty then. Finalisha. Blah. So, buddy, what's on your mind? What in the name of Kubrick's beard groomer is that unholy abomination? That's Junior, youngest of the elder gods. When the walls tumble, you'll reign supreme over the darkness. And I'll be his favorite toy again, just like it was in the before time. Ha! Junior hated you, Charlie. He used to call you Creepy Charlie. You want creepy? I'll give you a creepy old man! Yeah, you me to me a marionette from Genshi Skurki. Wow, a crazy evil ventriloquist dummy. Way to perpetuate the stereotype, Charlie. I'm not crazy, or evil, or illiterate. I didn't say... I'm lonely. Is that what this is all about? Because Max and I can fix you up with a nice girl who runs a diner. I don't need a woman! I need Junior! So how long you been working on this scheme anyway? None of your beeswax, Fido. Since the world's about to end, could you tell me what's going on with Sal and Stinky? You enthralled them before we could break out the rubber hoses. The fishwoman and the insect man were mere pawns. Their petty criminal dalliance is a pathetic warm-up back to my grand guignol! In other words... Not a clue. You sure you don't know anything about Stinky and Sal's plans for Grandpa Stinky? Hey, I just enthralled them to assemble and maintain my cloning chamber. I didn't get involved in their icky personal life. Why have you dragged poor paperweight slash Norrington slash Yogg Sagoth up here? Grumpy old fool thought he could destroy me along with all the other toys of power. <laughs> now he'll bear witness to my ultimate triumph as I sacrifice him to his own grandson! And I thought my family reunions were awkward. I think you and Norrington should have a nice little sit down. Never! I swear, ere this night doth wane, Yogg Sagoth will drink the black splinters of my vengeance! Why is the toy box all glowy? Now that my magnificent doggleganger's have gathered all the toys of power, the toy box is suffused with the terrible energies of the dark dimension. Good for you. When my spell is complete, I'll use the power of the toy box to tear down the walls between your realm and mine, dragging both realities into an eternity of torment and despair. Okay, but how will that be different from any other ventriloquist act? Hey what makes the toy box so powerful anyway? It was hewn from the bark of screaming mendacity on the shores of the river Pix in the Dark Dimension. Oh, I see. Not that I'm not flattered, but why did you go through all the trouble to make an army of half-naked Sam clones? A spell of this magnitude requires the sacrifice of a thousand and one thralls to complete the complex and arcane chance to tear down the walls between this world and the Dark Dimension. Yeah, but why me? Because you are the ideal straight man. Only you have the perfectly malleable brain that allows me to command you where to go and what to do without fear of being challenged by a stray independent thought. It's almost as though you were born to be ordered around. He's got you there, Sam! Okay, I understand why you wanted me for your silly ceremony, but why the gold biker shorts? 
And why did you have to make my clones so fat? Oh, it's my chubby little clones make the poor little doggy man uncomfortable about his body issues. Well... God! You want to talk about uncomfortable body issues? Try spending a gazillion years with nasty little myrtles sticking their grubby hands into a giant orifice in your back. At least Junior always had the common decency to wash his tentacle first. Were you really Junior's favorite toy? You betcha! He and I used to have so much fun drinking from the skulls of the suffering while I sang the dirge of madness. You pathetic fool! Junior never played with you. He hated you. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Ah, that was fun. And now, back to tonight's featured entertainment. Nicely done, Sam. If you want to change the music again, just gesture in the general direction of the piano, and I'll do the rest. Mm. You pathetic fool! Junior never played with you! He hated you! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Nothing about Junior. Nothing! Had enough, old man? with a robot. Max, don't! Uh, 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 Get back into the toy box where you belong, Charlie. You'll never be Junior's favorite. <laughs> Looks like the crowds had just about enough of your guff pop. What do you say, everyone? <laughs> you heard him, Krusty. I am the quiet our robot. Please give my destruction to everybody. <laughs> Yoxagon's death scene, everyone! Yeah. It looks like everything's about to go kablooey, so if you'll excuse me, I'll just ascend into the firmament and get ready to meet the end of the world! <laughs> that didn't go well. What are we gonna do now, Sam? Without my cool psychic toys, I'm as useless as a sprinkler in a squid farm. <coughs> useless. I think not. Dr. Norrington? <coughs> Max, listen. The power is within you. Sam, what's happening? I think Norrington's just unlocked your total psychic potential. Cool. Either that or your head's about to explode. Either way, you should probably aim for the dummy. Will do. Godspeed, John Glenn. Toy broken. 
Powers unavailable. Mind reading. Trying to read my mind? That's a no-no. Now I'm going to have that song stuck in my head all night. Star Charlie Ho Cat. Star Charlie Ho Cat. What was that? Now you will be able to pluck images from the mines around you. Use them to defeat Charlie Hotep. No problemo. To w ogóle wygląda jak jakaś ostatnia walka Final Fantasy. Despised you, Charlie. I am the Sonic Power Robot. Please shut up and die. Ah, oh, donkey ears. Close your eyes, Max. Why? This is really cool. Hey, you're right. Junior, oh, dear. don't put me back in the box. Jeez, Charlie, have a little dignity. Why won't you play with me? <laughs> Good job, Max! Max? Just a minute, Sam. Uh, I, uh... Max! Little buddy? No! 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 What? I, I thought we were doing a thing here. Max, you're alive! Yep. That icky demon seed must have broken my fall. What ridiculous luck. Says you, I think I swallowed some of that dark dimensional demon yolk. Ugh. Did it taste like chicken? No, no, no. It was more like, uh... Not funny, Max. I wasn't trying to be funny. If I was, I'd say something like, How do you keep an idiot in... <laughs> So good, Sam. Hang on, little buddy. I'll go get you some soda crackers and lukewarm pork. This is so cool! <laughs> Dr. Norrington, you gotta help me with Max. He... HP Lovecraft spinning through the 13 abyssal planes on a propane grill!
Congratulations, my friends. Thanks to your valiant efforts, Sam and Max have eliminated the scourge of the Devil's Toy Box once and for all. But at what cost? Well, this is new. When next we meet, the fate of Sam, Max, reality, and perhaps your very sanity will rest in your trembling hands in the concluding chapter of The Devil's Playhouse. Bardzo dużo wydarzyło się w tym epizodzie. Ciekawe, jak się to wszystko skończy. Skoro tutaj tyle się wydarzyło, to jak będzie wyglądać finał? Poprzeczka jest postawiona naprawdę wysoko. No dobrze, to tyle na dzisiaj. Fajnie, że byliście. Do następnego razu. Na razie. Cześć. Pa, pa.